Hello, the internet! It is I, with another Burn and Learn. Uh, yeah, January the, what is it, January 3rd now, something like that? Uh, yeah, Friday the 3rd. Um, I, uh, 60 minutes again today. That's, that's pretty good, and I'm not, I don't feel like I'm, I don't feel like it's killing me either, which is sort of extraordinary. I haven't been, I haven't been at 60 minutes on these things for a while now, and uh, it's kind of fun having that, that whole hour to focus on, on my learn of the burn and learn type thing. I should say, this is a burn and learn. This is my bid to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son, who's actually out with friends right now, um, and to enjoy the coming twilight years of my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane, who is also out with similar friends. Um, I hate exercise. It's boring, it's dull, it's miserable, it's just painful and frustrating, and God, I just hate it. So I like to learn something while I'm doing it, and then I like to share what I've learned with you in the sweatiest, most miserable, grumpy way possible. And why would that change for 2020? You know what I'm saying? Um, so, uh, so here I am. Today, 60 minutes, as I say. Quite proud of that. Um, part of it's just, I think, because I'm interested in what I'm learning while I do it, and that, that's sort of one of the tricks I find to keeping me interested in exercises. I don't feel like it's taking an hour out of my day, I feel like it's adding an hour of learning to my day that I, that I, I wouldn't normally do, because it's rare that I'd sit down and just watch tutorials without, you know, without, um, um, you know, without getting distracted by other things as I went along. So it's nice to be able to do that. That's a, a neat trick, I, I find. Um, and also, you know, you get to learn stuff. So this was Fusion 360. I finished part two, part deux, of the um, uh, uh, Fusion 360 enclosure design stuff, which is great because it sort of helps me out with all my little Arduino projects, make them look a little fancier. Um, you know, the kids like all the blinking lights and stuff, but it's, I think it's also really fun for them to see enclosures be 3D printed and then sort of fit together and stuff, or not as the case may be. Um, and uh, so I've finished those two and then at a loss, I, I then moved on to the mechatronics section. So this is designing, using, using Fusion 360 design for robotics, really. Uh, well, certainly from my perspective, that's what I'm doing. So uh, kind of exciting, I gotta say. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and I would really like to see how I can bring some of this stuff into Cinema 4D as well, because um, as I said, I feel there's a slight guilt factor here that I'm using um, a somewhat competing product. Um, Fu you know, Fusion 360 is very easy to use, uh, given the kind of complicated stuff you can actually do with it. Um, you know, so, it's, so the barrier to entry is very low. Uh, cost zero. You just go online and download it, and it's it's there for you. I mean, unless you're a multi-million dollar company, they'll they won't they're not charging you for it. They just want you using it. Um, and there are services that are add-ons and stuff. But but you know, for the most part, if you want to get using it, you just download it. So that's a real advantage for me, and for the kids. So um, you know, I've been using um, uh, Tinkercad with the kids, and uh, I just wanted to be able to go that extra step, be able to do some a little bit more. Um, a little more complex design stuff, which I'm sure you could do with Tinkercad, but it just, it feels like, for me, it was a, felt like a bit of a dead end, because I'm like, there's only so far I can go with this, why not just jump straight into the 360 stuff? But um, we'll see, either way, I might, uh, you know, I, I, I've always been pleasantly surprised by what you can do with Tinkercad, and both of these are free, you know, either downloadable or just browsable um, software, like you can actually go through your browser and use Tinkercad, so definitely thumbs up from Hewlett on that stuff, really fun. Um, I'm about to... Uh, grab a coffee, um, and then join Jack Jasra on his uh, Twitch stream. He's going to do some uh, t-shirt design stuff, well, some design stuff that we're then going to put on t-shirts so that people can actually get their uh, grubby hands on those, myself included. Um, and uh, we've got some really fun sort of little, I mean, my son would like to call them meme -y kind of things, uh, little memes that we've come up with during our Twitch streaming, which has just been so much fun. Um, and Jack has just got this wonderful sense of design and play to him. So, um, uh, and his channel is great for just watching. You can see how he designs all this stuff from the ground up. And he's, uh, he's very open to suggestions. And um, it's just kind of fun to watch an artist at work. So uh, I'm going to join him on that. So check that out. That's um, uh, Jack Jasra on, um, on Twitch TV. And um, yeah, I'll be there this afternoon. So I better go. Get ready. Um, so until we geek again, sweaty or not, here I come. Bye.